Did you know that the standard of what's considered low levels of testosterone just keeps getting pushed down lower and lower over time? Let me give you a great example. Just two decades ago, so around your dad's time, what was considered low testosterone was around 500 nanograms per deciliter. Today, it's 300. And if you keep going back, the same trend happens. It appears that every generation, men appear to be having lower and lower natural levels of testosterone. And it's because we are practicing these bad habits that are literally destroying our balls, bro. Look, I don't want your tennis balls to overheat and short circuit. So today I'm gonna help your bros out by giving you the bad destructive practices that you do daily that honestly, even I did daily, that's completely destroying our testosterone. Let's hop into it. Number one, brushing your teeth and washing your hair. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Bro, I do not make this stuff up. Scientists do. And men that are more exposed to a chemical that is called paraben, not only shown to have lower testosterone levels, but also more sperm that is abnormally shaped. Toothpaste, sunscreen, shampoo. These are generic everyday household items that are heavy and parabens, which is why I've been preaching for the longest to always buy paraben-free shampoo and toothpaste and all this other stuff. And don't just do it for you, bro. Do it for your future kids. Number two, meal prepping. I know what you're thinking, Jose, what the hell, bro? This is abomination. You are taking it over the line, but again, I'm not making this stuff up. And it's not meal prepping in general. I, I just mentioned that because usually men that meal prep are the ones that usually eat out of plastic containers because you set your meals for the whole week. These plastic containers contain bisphenol A, otherwise known as BPA. This is a xenoestrogen chemical that mimics the effects of estrogen in the body. So, unless you're buying BPA-free plastic, it ain't worth your manhood, bro. Which rolls us on to number three, not listening to music. Studies have shown that those that don't listen to music as opposed to those that do have lower endurance levels in the gym. The music helps you push past the burn and keeps you motivated for longer. We also know that those that visit the gym regularly as opposed to those that are sedentary have higher testosterone levels. So I'm gonna need you to start going to the gym regularly and then pick up some headphones that have some deep bass to listen to your favorite tracks to help you keep pushing harder and build up some of that test. Yo, and you don't even have to spend a lot of money. I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't go buy the big name brands that cost like 200 bucks, especially for headphones that you're gonna beat up. Instead, pick up the Everyday E25 earbuds by Raycon. These are my go-to gem headphones for a few reasons. On top of it being about a fraction of the price of what high-end headphones are, they sound as good, if not even louder, and I don't have to worry about them so much because I didn't pay as much money. The best part about our sponsor Raycon is that they're also shaped like our ear canal. So when you throw them in, it almost creates this like noise isolating snug fit that also stays in your ear. So if you work out hard, like you do hit training or maybe you're playing basketball or you're lifting a lot of weight, you don't want headphones that constantly slip out. These stay stuck in your ear no matter how crazy you go with your workouts. And that's the thing with Raycon. See, they deliver that high quality value. It's a premium technology company, but it's always at a fraction of the price without compromising quality. Yo, even celebrities and athletes rave about Raycon. You got Tyson. Tyson, the OG, the GOAT of boxing, he uses Raycon. You got J.R. Smith. You got Snoop Dogg, Cardi B. These are all people that wear Raycon and love Raycon. And that's for a reason. Because on top of it being affordable, they also have great design. See, these E25s come in an array of colors where you can choose a specific one that more suits your personal style and taste. On top of that, they have a 45-day return policy. So you can try them out and see how great they are for yourself risk-free. The cool part is that just on a single charge, they do about six hours of playtime. They come with their own slick small pod that makes it easy to carry and also recharges the earbuds and it does seamless Bluetooth pairing. These earbuds are my go-to earbuds every single time I go to the gym because Bro, they're great. These things will get you pumped. If you guys want to check out Raycon, they're going to be linked down below. Go ahead, check them out. Like I said, they're crazy affordable. And if you go to buyraycon.com slash TMF, which is our special link as a family, they're hooking you guys up with an extra 15%. Yo, these are already crazy affordable. At 15%, 
It's literally a steal that you gotta check out. If you guys wanna check them out, they'll be linked down below. Number four, getting drunk. You see, hops are a rich source of phytoestrogens and even that occasional beer on the weekends can have an effect on lowering your testosterone. So when you mention regular drinking or heavy drinking, it can have serious effects on your androgen levels. Then compound that with all the negative health effects and bad decision making, yo, it's not even worth it. And finally, number five, soy foods. Soy foods like tofu, soy protein, or edamame contain phytoestrogens just like hops do, which are compounds that are physically similar to estrogen and react the same way in our male body. Now, the studies on soy overall are scarce. However, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to be the guinea pig that 10 years down the road realizes that eating all that soy has effed me up. Personally, your boy lo loves edamame, but uh, I had to clip him. I ain't gonna lower my tea, and I don't want you to lower your tea either. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are five things that you're doing on the daily that's lowering our testosterone levels. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Raycon. They're gonna be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.